Hello. Today we're looking at Luke chapter 24, verses 13 to 28. Now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things of each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognising him. He asked them, What are you discussing together as you walk along? They stopped, stood still, their faces downcast. One of them named Cleopas asked him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem? who does not know the things that have happened here in these days. What things? Jesus asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed, before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was going to be the one to redeem Israel. And what is more, it's the third day since all this took place. And some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but couldn't find his body. They came and told us they'd seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb also and found it just as the women had said but they did not see Jesus. Jesus said to them, How foolish you are! How slow to believe all the things the prophets have spoken! Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he was going further. Today, the title is Walking with Friends. I don't know about you, but in my life as a Christian, and I've been a Christian for nearly 40 years now, friendships have been very important in helping me, supporting me, just people that are with me, keeping me on the straight and narrow sometimes. In the Old Testament, it said that David had a best friend called Jonathan. And Jonathan was there to support him through his difficult times in the years when Saul was trying to persecute him. Today, sometimes people might say to you, have you got any Jonathans in your life? And by that they mean, have you got people in your life whom you can trust and rely on, whom you can turn to for support in whatever way you need? In my own life, I've had a number of Jonathans. Surprisingly, they've all been called, or nearly all been called, Jonathan. (laughs) And they've been friendships that I've sought out and tried to find and asked them, would you um, journey with me? Would you uh, ask me difficult questions like, how are you doing? How's your thought life? Or how's your attitude in certain areas? And these Jonathans have been vital. They've been really almost, I would say, a part and parcel of my own Christian development. And without them at times, life would have been very lonely and difficult. I've only got one pair of eyes and I see life through those eyes. I see it kneels away. But sometimes I need other perspectives and I value the input that these people have given me. Of course, there is somebody even better than Jonathan. Jesus himself. He said to his disciples, I call you friends. And here we have a situation of two people walking along the road and Jesus turns up and walks with them. And I think that's a very simple but important principle. In our life, in our journeying through 
our own lives. Jesus walks with us. He walks with us like our own friends, whoever they may be. He listens. And I think sometimes he may ask us questions about what we're thinking and how we're feeling. And help us to navigate our way through life and the difficult things that can be thrown at us. Of course, unlike our other friends, he never leaves us nor forsakes us. And that is one friend who is with us 24-7. And I have my Jonathans. I appreciate every one of them. But actually, I have a better friend. He's called Jesus. He is my best friend. And he walks with me through every moment of my life.